Seems like the only time Southern Oregon has been in the headlines recently are because of scenes like this. Big blazes and smoke, but that smoke is gone. And there are dozens of great reasons that you should make a fall trip. Joining us now to talk about all those things to see is a Travel Southern Oregon's Executive Director, Brad Niva. Thanks for coming in early. Thank you. Yeah, and so as we just saw, you know, three out of the last five years, the smoke and the fires, it's just been pretty terrible, especially in Southern Oregon. Uh, but there is there are still a lot of things people can go to now, especially now that falls here. Absolutely. I mean, we don't want to be known for fire, but right. we want to be known as a great tourism destination. And so when you have anything south of Eugene, be it Roseburg and Douglas County, down in the Grants Pass, Medford, Jacksonville, Ashland, Klamath Falls, Lakeview. I mean, we have a really neat, fun, diverse, tourism friendly region in southern part of Oregon. Yeah. And uh, Yes, we've had some fires, but we don't now, and we'd love to have people come and visit. You were telling me that the wineries, it's harvest time right now, and it's a great time to go visit. So I think people forget. I mean, everybody has an Oregon wine on their mind, but mm -hmm. there is a massive wine industry in Southern Oregon. 40% of the wine grapes that are crushed up in the Willamette Valley are actually out of Southern Oregon. A huge history of wine and agriculture down there, mm -hmm. and we love to showcase and show that. So there's 150 some wineries, great wine trails, um, very authentic, very small. You can come in. You're going to taste wine that you've never tasted before in Oregon. Mm -hmm. We have 63 different varietals. So not just Pinot, we have a whole lot of other things to showcase. Yeah, and then the Shakespeare Festival, I always thought that was just something that happened in the spring. I didn't realize it's really a, you said a nine month yeah, event. Yeah, so Oregon is, and the city of Ashland is the host to uh, the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. It's been, mm -hmm. been going on for many, many years. And it's just one of the iconic visiting um, resources that people come to Southern Oregon to visit. Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll come and see a play or two or three or four. At the same time, they might go up to Crater Lake National Park. They'll go over to Caves National Monument. They'll go have some good wine, try some cheese at the Rogue Creamery, explore Southern Oregon, stay three or four days, and yeah. then we see what we have to offer. I know Ken Body is a big uh, Shakespeare Festival guy. Yeah, very sophisticated, that Ken Body. Yeah. Hey, uh, and real quickly, the holidays are approaching. Anything going on that people would want to go check out? Well, with some of these great little towns that we have, like downtown Grants Pass is a great job with the holidays. Mm -hmm. Jacksonville has great walking tours and decorated. Um, Ashland has a famous Christmas parade. So all these little fun towns are really fun to visit in the holidays. Yeah, we drove through Grants Pass over the summer. I had no idea how quaint it was. It seemed very, what's the word, bucolic? Like it bucolic, just seemed, yes, just a really very charming. Cute, in a neat town that's really adopted the wine industry. I mean, yeah. great restaurants to support the wine industry there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for thank coming you. in. Yeah, great to see you. And uh, go visit Southern Oregon. Great there time of the year. All right. Want to get now?